In a previous video, we talked about the importance of used camera gear and why I buy used camera equipment. And this video reinforces that notion. The sheer amount of used camera storage in Japan, combined with the exploration factor, makes hunting for used camera equipment a really gratifying experience. So if you're interested in this subject, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Jorge. Welcome. In this channel, we merge creativity and productivity to try to live a more fulfilling life. Discovering the diversity in used equipment or equipment that is discontinued and not so easy to find is a really fun experience. And exploring camera shops while you do that is also part of the fun as well. So today we'll talk about my favorite camera stores in Japan. Let's get started. This is not a video about buying every single camera that you see and encouraging people to spend every dollar they have. No, there's plenty of that on YouTube already. This is more about being open to learning new things and allowing yourself to be intrigued by equipment that you never seen, equipment that you never use, or equipment that you didn't even know existed. Finding a particular camera that perhaps you heard a lot about but have never used, or maybe gear that you were always intrigued by. Gear that you romanticize and after closer examination, you realize it's just not for you, not really worth it. When I moved to Japan, I was open to creating new experiences, new moments, meeting new people, and exploring different types of gear that I never used before. Therefore, camera shops were really helpful in my process. It was all about new experiences, learning new things, camera shops, and exploring new gear, at least new to me, and that is the main purpose of this video. Also, a quick PSA. If you have a tourist or a visitor's visa, then you don't pay cell taxes in Japan. Very important. Make sure you remember that next time you visit. But now that we got that out of the way, we'll break it down in different categories and different recommendations as well. Let's start with the obvious ones that everyone talks about. Yodobashi Camera and Big Camera. These are big box stores, similar to maybe a Best Buy or a Target. They happen to have a really great camera department, but they're not really camera stores, not really used camera stores. Keep that in mind. This is probably what you see in most YouTube videos about camera stores in Japan. And don't get me wrong, these stores are great. Great for availability and great for getting new equipment, but not so much for used equipment. They may sell used gear, and I've seen this myself, but it's most likely a customer return or a demo unit they're trying to get rid of, something along those lines. Something like, for example, B&H as well. Same process. There's nothing wrong with Yodobashi or Big Camera. They have the latest camera gear, they're located in pretty much every major city in the country, and they have a good online presence as well. So you can easily check prices and availability online. Link to all of these camera stores in the description down below. But these are the stores that the tourists go to. Maybe they don't have the time to explore the city well, or maybe they just don't know any better. But between that, and the import fees makes it really difficult for me to recommend these sort of big box stores. There is a difference between being a visitor and a resident. Keep that in mind. Map Camera is one of my favorite camera shops. However, it is not a franchise, it's only a single shop located in Shinjuku, Tokyo. It has the perfect balance of new equipment and used equipment, which is pretty cool, and it's large enough to be well known in Japan. A dedicated floor just for use equipment and a dedicated floor just for Leica cameras as well, which I think is pretty awesome. And this is where things start to differ from my Western experiences or even big box stores like Yolobashi Camera and Big Camera as well. The used cameras they have are not just a customer exchange here and a demo unit there. They have a really large variety of used camera equipment that they check, they clean up and they resell, which is pretty cool. In fact, you are able to trade your current camera for cash as payment for a used equipment or as payment for a brand new equipment plus a difference, which is amazing in my opinion. Something as simple as that makes a huge difference, especially if you're budget conscious. You might want to sell everything you have before spending on either used equipment or new equipment as well, which is completely reasonable in my opinion. They have a decent online presence, although not as good as Yodobashi and Big Camera but you can clearly find the levels or tiers of the condition of used equipment and information about what's in every floor. So I think overall, it's pretty good. But once again, if you can, I encourage you to go there in person. The experience matters a lot. 
This is another of my favorite shops. However, it is not a franchise. It's just one single store. Used Camera Box, and yes, that is the name, only sells used equipment and it's located in Shinjuku, Tokyo. And this is where things really start to shift for me. It does feel like a local shop. Not only because they only sell used equipment and they're fairly small compared to the other big box stores, but the friendliness of the staff is what really makes the whole experience amazing for me. You're not there just to buy something. You're not there just to browse for five minutes. You're there to ask opinions, share experiences, and hear great stories from the owner and people who have been doing this for decades. It's a really fun experience. A place where you can really learn a thing or two about photography. I strongly discourage you from visiting their website. Not only because it's god awful, but also because you would be missing out. The experience of being there in person is totally worth it in my opinion and is the most important thing that store has to offer. Camera no Naniwa and Kitamura Camera. These two sell both new and used equipment but focus primarily on used gear. They have a great online presence with real-time stock information and can haul gear for you if you book it online or if you call, which is pretty cool. They have a strict grading system for used equipment that goes over the condition, accessories, what's included, box, etc. And that makes it really simple to pinpoint exactly what you want in the condition that you wanted. And they also have stores all over the country in Kanto, Kansai, Kyushu, which is great because it adds up to the exploration factor that I mentioned before. So, for example, let's say that you're hunting down a Leica M10R for a reasonable price, whatever that means. So you can browse their site, see the locations of the stores that have the item that you're looking for, and in what condition as well, and then you can plan accordingly. Take the bullet train and do a short day trip, let's say from Kyoto to Kobe or Osaka to Nagoya, and go there and check out the item you were looking for in person, test it, play with it, and decide if you want to pick it up or not. And I get it, it sounds very simple, right? But the very fact that this is a possibility makes the whole experience of hunting camera gear and exploring camera shops a lot better. And after you've been there a couple of times and you get to know the staff and you register as a member, things become a lot easier, which is pretty cool. You can get a member's card for free and get discounts and coupons and promotions. And you can register your line account and they can send you promotions and coupons via text as well which is awesome. There are dozens of camera stores that I have not mentioned so far. Small local shops and many, many other places to explore. But a couple honorable mentions are Softmap Electronic Store. It's not really a camera store, but they do sell sometimes used camera equipment and you may be able to find the camera that you're looking for there. So good luck with that. And another honorable mention is Book Off. Book Off is mainly a comic book store and a video game store. However, they do sell sometimes used cameras. I've seen it myself. You may be looking for a specific camera and a specific budget, and you could potentially find it there. These are just two quick suggestions. There's tons more out there. Explore yourself. Good luck with that. Although this entire video was about camera stores in Japan, the really important thing to consider and to take away from this video is that diversity is very important when it comes to use equipment and options are very important when it comes to growing as a photographer as well. Things in Western countries are very different. If your fridge breaks, throw it away, buy a new one. If your car breaks, sell it for parts, get another one. That is the predominant mentality in countries like Canada and the US. And precisely that is what made my experience in Japan so refreshing. And because of that, I think it's really important that everybody experiences this at some point in their lives. And if you replace Japan with another country that has the same sort of mentality around used equipment and the used marketplace, the experience would be very similar. All right, so those are my favorite camera stores in Japan. As always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Do you like to buy used equipment or you like to stay away from that? Too much of a headache and you like to buy only new? Share your thoughts in a comment down below. But that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram as well. 
Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy, and good luck with your creative process.